What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United FC 25 career mode. But before we get into this one, if you guys did not watch the last episode where we had ourselves the Manchester Derby and the bum -bum 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 -bum, uh, game against Brighton in the Premier League, Hey, look at that. Rasmus Hoyland, Premier League top goal scorer. Suck it, Hurling Holland. There's only one Danish or uh, friggin' Scandinavian superstar. I don't know, but yeah. Go check out the last episode if you haven't already. We beat Man City 2 1 in the Manchester Derby. Goals from Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland gave us the win. We sim that game against Everton in the Cup. 3 1 win, happy days. Play that game against Brighton. 4 1 win away from home. Today we'll take on Newcastle and Everton here in the Prem, or we'll send that game against Everton probably, we'll play that game, we'll send that game against Burnley, probably play this game against City, send that game against Coventry, probably send that game against Brentford, and then be left with Newcastle again in the next episode. So, very, 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 very big games today. What's Anthony Alenga saying? Hey, what, what team is he at now? Is he at Atalanta? Okay, that's... Bit sus. Reese James has gone to Italy. Maybe they have better hospital beds there, but yeah. All right. Very, very big game here against Newcastle. Let's take a look at the Premier League standings before we hop into this. We actually have a game in hand here, and we could go six points clear with a win here at home against Newcastle. Arsenal, Spurs, and City are falling away from us slowly but surely. If we just keep racking up the points, man. We're getting a step closer to that title every time. Who am I going to start today? Who am I going to start today? This seems like a pretty fair 11. But let's see. Let's see what the lineup has in store for us. Lenny Yoro. He's a little low on fitness. Watkins. Do I start Watkins over Hoyland? No, I'm going to start Watkins, man. Give, or uh, just Hoyland rather, give Hoyland the start. Jared Branthwaite next to DeLitt. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all, to be honest. I'll bring McGuire to the bench over Lenny Oro for fitness. But, yeah. Alrighty then. Big game here against Newcastle on Boxing Day at Old Trafford. Let's get into it, baby. Welcome to a snowy one at the Theater of Dreams, ladies and gentlemen. A Fitting one for Boxing Day, it's United versus Newcastle from the Theater of Dreams. It is absolutely cold as shit by the looks of it, but Diogo Dallos made a decent tackle there on Anthony Gordon, and he's even won the ball back off the throw-in until Gordon wins it back because of the touch going in his direction, the lucky bugger. Oh, how does that ball slip through? I was going to say, they can't have all that luck. I was gonna friggin' say, I mean, it is a beautiful ball from Bruno, but Isak is just slightly offside. But yeah, let's get into the game. Let's see how we do, fellas. Should be a fun one here against Newcastle. Oh my god. Thank you, Jared Brent. Wait, you just allowed friggin' Joe Linkton to skip on through. I was like, god, you better put a tackle in. Brantway almost blocks it again, but it's saved by Anana. Bad place to give the ball away by Teo Hernandez there. Newcastle at the corner. Nico, is that actually friggin' Nico Williams? I can't even tell. Sven Botman lines it up. It's another good save there by Anana. Newcastle have the best chances of the game there, but Andre Anana is equal to it. Okay, game on here at the Theater of Dreams, but Elise. Elise might have himself a little bit of a chance here. What do we have? It's Hoyland. Looking for the option. I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. Elise's on the run. He's tipped it through for Hoyland and... Ah, the finish just wasn't there. Where's our finish in today, fellas? I know we haven't gotten as many chances as we usually do, but we gotta come take some chances when we can. Haven't really been able to get a couple shots off. We've been on the back foot most of this game, really, other than passing the ball around in our end as Anthony Gordon slips past DeLitt and Jared Branthwaite's able to clean up the mess. 
for now. Oh, that sucks. It's 1 0 Newcastle. Anthony Gordon puts Newcastle in front. Oh, man. Oh, why is Jared Branthwaite sliding over there? Gordon's done circles around to lit, and it's an easy finish for Anthony Gordon at the near post. Oh, we gotta pick it up, fellas. We gotta pick it up. 1-0 Newcastle. Damn it. Oh, Elise skipped through. Elise is saved by Pope. Rashford couldn't collect the second ball. Ah, oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, man. Come on. Slip that through. Rashford, please. Yes, there we go. Back level in the game. Beautiful finish by Marcus Rashford. I was going to say, if I ruin United's boxing day record, I'm going to be so pissed. But I believe it was Teo Hernandez who played that ball. Rashford gets at the top of the six. He's able to play it around Nick Pope. And it's a beautiful finish by number 10, Marcus Rashford. Great ball slipped in by Teo Hernandez. And Rashford's able to finish. One all. Back in the game. Come on, the Reds. Let's go. Jake's Luis, I really thought that was going to come back into the path of a Newcastle attacker and they were going to have a wide open net, but one all here at the break. Probably a pretty fair scoreline, to be honest. It's been end to end, especially since Newcastle got the goal. Rashford was able to level things for us. We just need to play better attackingly, man. Defensively and possession-wise, we've been all right, but just having that end product is really what's going to seal this game for us because I really do believe we're the better team than Newcastle. Just gotta have the end product. Man, what is up with the Let's Fitness? It always just completely dies every game. But two changes, bringing on McGuire and Watkins. Watkins coming up against his former team. Let's see how they do. Second half underway. Beautiful ball by Ugarte. Rashford's one on one again. Oh, it's good defending. I thought I was a goner. I thought we were around him for sure. Fernandez, another great ball for Marcus Rashford. It's in off the post. There we go. Marcus Rashford with a home run. It's a brace for number 10 here at the Stratford end. Beautiful finish. Great turn there by Rashford to completely beat Rotman. Something he didn't do last time around. And Rashford buries it past Nick Pope into the Newcastle net. We have taken the lead for the first time today. And it's number 10 with a brace. You'll love to see it. Oh my god. Oh my god, Anana. What a stop. Holy crap. I thought we were done for there. Holy crap. What a stop. What a stop by Anana. We're probably going to need another one. Joe Linkton, Elise is able to win that ball back, but we can't get the ball out of our own end. Fernandez, please. Ah. We have the lead for now. It's Yorker as in the corner, and Teo Hernandez wins it back. Come on, fellas. Come on. Oh, it's good. Oh, get away, man. Stop holding up Watkins, Botman. Oh, back stick, Elise, dude, you gotta be putting that away. He was on side too. Elise, you've gotta be putting that one away at the back stick. You've gotta be. You're wide open with a header. I mean, I know heading's not Elise's strong point, but man, oh man, we gotta be putting chances like that home. We've got to. Bruno Fernandes, I'll play Watkins, man. I think he's, oh, he's not offside. Oh, I thought he was offside there. He just veered a little bit offside from what I see. But Ollie Watkins rockets it past Nick Pope to make it 3-1 in the game. I thought for sure he was offside. That's why I hit it first time. If he wasn't, I, or if I thought he wasn't, I would have tried to dribble it in. But, man, Ollie Watkins with a rocket gets number three in the 69th minute. Very nice. And it's 3-1 United. You'll love to see it. Oh, 
Oh crap, what a ball. What a save by Anana to equal it. Is that Yorkeres to Tenali? Wait, what a friggin' ball that was. Sure, we'll bring on Kabi Mainu, but... Man. What a stop, man. Anana's the only reason it ain't a draw right now, because some of the chances we've given up, it should be a three-all game, to be totally honest. And Anana... Jesus. Get that ball out of our friggin' end. Holy, holy hell. Ugh. Good lord. Oh, Marcus Rashford on a hat trick. It's blocked. I wanted to sh wanted him to shoot it on his left boot, but so much for that. Into the dying embers of the game here. Come on. Just close it out, fellas. Close it out. Good pass there, Manu. I uh, wanted it to go to Watkins because Rashford was getting closed down, but surely that'll be the end of the game. Referee. Referee. Vitinha wins the ball. There we go. 3-1 win at Old Trafford. First half could have been better, but a brace from Marcus Rashford and the finishing goal by Watkins against his former side makes it another three points for United. We go six points clear at the top halfway through the season, and that's looking and feeling pretty darn good, fellas. you love to see it. you well and truly love to see it. United won. Newcastle, or Newcastle, United 3, Newcastle 1. Good grief. Alrighty, next game up in the league. We're taking on Everton away from home. This should be a decent sim game here in the Premier League. Completely rotate the side, other than Bruno Fernandes, Diogo Dallo, Hoyland, and Onana. Those are the only players I didn't sub out. Want everybody on full fitness. Quick sim the game! I mean, it's better than a loss, and Hoyland got a goal, so I'll take it, but you never won. It feels like a loss, to be honest. If you're dropping points to Everton, it feels like a loss, in my opinion, especially when you're in the title race. Alrighty then, next game up against Burnley. We are going to completely rotate the team. I think this is good enough for the boys to get the job done. Quick sim, see how we do... The Sim is screwing us. All these friggin' draws, dude. All these goddamn draws. I don't need draws. I need wins. I need results. Come on, fellas. Well, well, well then. Next game up. Bloody Carabao Cup semi-final against Man City. Manchester Derby. We are gonna play this one because I want to win every trophy possible. We're heading to the Eti Etihad. This team we're gonna go with strongest 11. You're gonna need your strongest 11, especially going away to Man City, so let's see if we can get the job done. Come on the Reds. Welcome to the Eddie Hat, everyone. The first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final is live and underway. Are we able to take down Manchester City here at the empty hat? Marcus Rashford definitely has something he wants to say about all that. Marcus Rashford, Watkins, dude, what are you? What are you? Uh, should have gave the start to Xerxes Hoyland, I see, but all right. We're live and underway here from the theater of broken dreams. Oh, flipping act man, I was offside. Thank you. God, he is offside. Flag is up, my friend. Oh, God, I am tired. Ugh. <sighs> Man, I get, I'm getting over, like, this mini cold or whatever at the moment. I barely got, like, 11 hours sleep in the last two days combined, so I am dead, to say the least. So, a little bit on the tired side, you could say. Oh, crap. That's why if I sound a little dead and look a little tired, you know why. Holland, good God, get this ball out of our defensive end, please. There we go. Nice work passes. Vitinha over to Teo Hernandez. And, oh, hello. 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 Oh, Alaba, you lucky little shit. 
You lucky little shit, and you too. Y'all, these... These money-paying gremlins. Ah! Oh, beautiful ball. Marcus Rashford, 1-0. What a through ball from Manu Ugarte. Marcus Rashford, he's been on absolute fire this episode. What a finish by number 10. He loves a goal here. He just absolutely loves a goal here. What a ball by Manu Ugarte. Marcus Rashford just lets it roll by. Taps it into the corner. Ederson never stood a chance. 1-0 Manchester United in the Carabao Cup semi-final. Let's go. Oh, what a ball! Oh, I did not expect that at all. Watkins, what a ball that was to Michael Elise. Dude, you really should have made it 2-0 there. You really should have made it 2-0. Josko Gavardio to Jack Grealish. To back to Josko Gavardio. Oh, fellas, I want that ball. Oh, give me that ball. Give me that ball. I got that ball, and now let's trot up the pitch. Alright, halftime. 1-0 to the Reds here at halftime. Marcus Rashford with the opener. Man, I still can't get over that pass from Manu Ugarte. That was absolutely brilliant, brilliant pass. But it's 1-0 United thanks to a Rashford opener. Can we contain this lead? God, I hope so. But it's United 1, City 0 at the break. Let's see what we can do in the second half. Oh, I was looking to pass it to Dallow, and... Oh, my God. Holland on the finish. One all in the derby. City have their opener. It's not offside this time. Holland makes it one all. Okay, can we... Can we cancel that out, though? We might just... Oh, Watkins. Watkins header saved by Ederson. Unlucky. Oh, come on, bro. Nothing's going my way here in the second half, dude. Absolutely nothing. Other than that, or not a save, but... It's a corner kick to the Citizens. Can we get the ball off Foden? Come on, Garnacho. Oh, my God. Just can't get around Grealish. Come on, fellas. Let's get this ball out of our end. And let's go have a counter-attacking chance here at City. Can we do that? Let's find out. Jared Branthwaite, not the player I ideally want in that situation, but Watkins just doesn't know how to friggin' make a step around Alaba and just have a run. Ugh. Oh, we're in the dying embers of this game now. Garnacho. Alaba damn near put it into his own net. It's a corner kick, though. What do we have? What do we have left in the tank? Jared Branthwaite has a header that goes way wide. There's only three minutes left to play, plus added time, guys. We may not be able to get a winner here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Garnacho! Oh my goodness, Alejandro Garnacho with a special effort at the end of this game to steal one at the depths that the Eddie had. Alejandro Garnacho. Oh, what a finish on the left boot. He's one on one with Gavardio, cuts inside, Alaba leaves in the space. Garnacho with a rocket on that left boot. Oh my god, man, what a finish. What a finish by Garnacho. It's 2-1 two, two, 
to Manchester United, and Alejandro Garnacho steals the winner in the dying embers of the game. Oh, Garnacho. Viva Garnacho. Alejandro, Alejandro. Oh my god. Ale, Alejandro, Ale, Alejandro. Let's go. 2 1 win for your Red Devils here at the Eddie Had. A last cash winner by Alejandro Garnacho is going to give us the advantage heading into the second leg. And things are looking good for us heading to Wembley now. Oh, Garnacho's one attempt on goal is the attempt on goal that saves us today. Manchester United 2, Manchester City 1. Oh, I love you, Garnacho. Yes! Okay, time to kick off our FA Cup campaign now. Where it's a sim game here away at Coventry. Completely rotated side, and I literally mean completely rotated side. Quick sim should be enough to beat Coventry. Garnacho gets a brace, and SA gets one as well. Very decent result, lads. Come on. Well, another sim game in the Prem here coming up. We're taking on Brentford away from home, or at home actually, the away from home leg was the first game of the season that we lost, but I think we can beat him here, quick sim, 2-0 win, a brace from Bruno Fernandez gives us the win over Thomas Franks Brentford, decent, decent result, we keep, just gotta keep putting points on them board and getting through to the next round of the cups, we'll be alright, oh, what's this, what do we have here, just a loan deal probably, I don't know. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the Manchester United Career Mode. We'll kick off the next episode by taking on Newcastle again in the Premier League. We're seeing a lot of Newcastle and City here lately. What's our calendar looking like here? So, we'll play this game against Inter 2, probably sim that game against Brighton, sim that game against Fenerbahce, and then leave off the January transfer transfer window and everything with Chelsea, City second leg, man, it's a busy, busy, busy time of year, but remember, you guys enjoyed, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought of this episode and why, and yeah, I will see you guys for the next episode of the United Karuma, where we'll take on Newcastle in the Prem. Take care, and peace!